Welcome to my latest unit credit creation. Today we are doing Master Chief, which you may have guessed by the thumbnail of the video, the title of the video, the fact I've written it up here, and the fact that it's the reason you are here as well. Anyway, before we start, make sure you check out that playlist in the top right hand corner as well, which has got a whole load of other unit creations I've created as well, which may be useful for you in your own version of tabs. Also, guys, make sure you smash like if this helps you, and hit subscribe and the notification bell to join the Monkeyfish tribe and see when my other videos are coming, of which they are out pretty much daily at all times. Anyway, on to the Master Chief today, and we're going to start with a base unit, which is a Wobbler. Make sure your movement type here is ranged unit. Obviously, this guy, this dude's got a gun. You want to have him as a ranged unit, okay? We'll do weapons at the end, but we're going to go on to the clothing now, okay? We're going to start with the base coloring for him, uh, which will give, so one item can do that very well on a lot of the units I've done so far. So we get out the good old tab G wetsuit. So this has three elements to it. You want to make sure the majority of him is black. So you want to make sure this part is black, the blue element you want to change to black, and this element here you want to change green because this hey, this um, dude is going to be green on uh, all over pretty much. So my personal choice is this one. You may want a different shade of green. Whatever shade you want him to be covered in, make it start it here because everything's going to be green pretty much from this point onwards. That's element number one. Element number two is going to be in the head section and you want to click uh, pattern mask. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to put in here, there's two sections to this. This basically he's going to cover his face when he's got the helmet on. It will make sense in a minute. So this is personal preference, right? I'm going to go for the second darkest orange here and also second darkest orange here as well, okay? Just there. There we go, okay? I'm aware that his, his actual visor is gold. I personally think this color looks better than the gold behind it, okay? There's two options of doing this. So this my personal one's orange there. You then go and add the helmet, which is the Tab GMC helmet here, 00, zero right? Within this, you've got three elements, okay? I'm going to show you the two options, okay? So whatever you do under here, you want that to be orange or gold, whichever your preference is, okay? So then you want to change this main section to green as well, which will match your stripe here. You want to change this section here, which is the rim of the helmet, to make that green, uh, green as well. And then the final option you've got a choice for is this section here, right? At the moment, this visor is see-through, and you see the kind of color of his face behind it. Now, I personally think it looks better that you can see the visor like this, but I know it doesn't necessarily match what actually happens on the actual... Uh, Master Chief. So your options are basically two things. You have the underneath bit gold or orange, or you change this bit here and make this gold or orange, okay? I don't think this looks as good, personally. So you can have the entire thing a shade of gold if you so wish, alright? I'm not sure which I prefer, okay? That is the other option, okay? I personally think it looks better without this. I'm going to leave this for now, but you can have either option. So I personally think the visor looking see-through is better, although his visor is not see-through. We're going to go with this gold for the time being, okay? Right, so we're going to continue onwards now. So we're going to, as I said, we're going to work downwards from the top. So next up, you want to go to the torso, and you want to type in shoulder, shoulder pads. You want to scroll down to the medieval shoulder pads, and you want to get yourself the shoulder pads uh, zero zero just here, okay? And then for these, you want to click into them again, and you want to make these bad boys green all over as well. So much like everything here, there's a lot of green. It'll all make sense at the end, I promise. So there are his shoulder pads. Look a bit stupid at the moment, I know, but we're, we're building up, don't worry. Next up, you want to go back in there and go into the torso again. You want to do the shoulders again. And this time, you want to look for the Japanese shoulder pads, which are these pad ones here, okay? They sit underneath there, and it might look a bit weird right now, but again, it will come good, don't worry. So for these ones, you want to do the same again. You want to change the chunky element here to a green, as so. You want to change this element here to a green as so and because you've got kind of like a black underneath bit element here on his arms you want to change this one so this is a black so you lose the strappy bits okay so you want to go black 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 there so you lose the straps on his arms you still see a little bit there but it's minimal don't worry it's all good and you won't see a lot of that in a minute anyway right so back up again as you can see we've got a few little green elements appearing now that one I didn't change, did I? There we go. Let's change that as well. So they match up. You can, if you wanted to, you could change the little little edging on there. If you wanted to give it a little bit of a shimmer, you could actually change the edge of this and make it a slightly, slightly lighter one if you wanted to. Uh, where's the green's gone there? You could give it like a little kind of shimmer. If you wanted to give it kind of like a shading effect, you could change that to a different one if you wanted. I'm matching it up, but again, that's a that's a personal preference thing. Moving on from there, next up you want to do is go for a tab G vest. So back into torso, you want to go tab G vest. And we're going to have two different vests here. So we're going to start with this one here, okay? So this one here is going to be all green again. So you want to click into it. I think this might also almost be the right green as it is. That green there and that green there. The reason for this is because it adds the little element of down here, which you can't add without playing around with a lot more stuff. So it kind of gives a bit more a bit more of unit. I don't know, what am I trying to say? A bit more covering down in that area, which looks better, as you'll see, once we build them up further. You need something there because of the shape he actually looks like for real. 
Then you want to add on top of that, you want to go next for the um, torso again. And you want to go back into the Tab G vests. And you want to go back into Tab G vest 4 this time. And again with this one, you want to add some uh, most. Oops, you want to almost make this entirely green as well. So you want to colors green, green, colors, green, green, colors. Can you guess? Green, green, again. <laughs> don't worry, there's a little tweak to this one. We're going to come back to it in the end, don't worry. That's where we sit with that as well. So next up, you want to go for... We'll do his arms next, the bottom part of his arms, okay, down here. So as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of black still on show here. That's going to change now. You're going to go back into your arms here, and you're going to type in Medieval in here. And you're going to go for Wrist Guard 03 on this one. When I can see it, where is Wrist Guard 03? There it is, just there. And again, guess what color this one goes, guys? This one also goes green. It does indeed. Are you surprised? I didn't think so by now. I thought you'd probably expect that one. So I think we leave this bit for now. We've got some more covering to go into this area. So we've got some gloves to go on him as well. We will change that to black as well to blend that one in. But we've got something else to add here. Hide that up. Then you want to go back here and you want to go into the arms one more time. And you want to type Will Nile in for the gloves. And uh, can you guess what colour these are going to be? These are also going to be green. Yes, right. There he is. A bit more green on this bad boy. Okay, that's pretty much your arms and stuff done. We've got one more element to add in at the top here. So we go into, just because this bit looks a bit wrong at the moment at the top. So we go back here, we go into your add item, you go back into your into your torso, type in spooky, and you want to use a spooky scarf here, which gives me a bit more kind of bit more chunkiness at the top, alright? So again, you want to make this bit the same colour as everything else. You want to go white, change that to green, and green, and oops, come here. And green again. So you're getting, you're building up a lot more chunkiness around the top here now. So it's kind of like filling them out as you can see. So now this whole area is starting to look a little bit more, kind of like robotic and a bit more built up. He's starting to look a bit beasty, right? He's looking alright now, yeah. So now we work on the bottom half of the unit. So coming out of there now, the next element you want to look for. We're going to start with the top of his legs now, okay? So you want to look. Ah, do you not want to do that? We do not want to cancel that. Out. That would really wreck the video, wouldn't it? You want to click on, <laughs> click on the legs. Up here, type in Knight up here, and you can see we've got three options. We're going to go for the Knight Thigh Armor 01, which is this one just here. So you can see this kind of goes around the front, and you've got a bit of a bit of a strap around the back. We don't want to see the strap. So what you want to do with this one is for the section around the back, you can see how it's just flashing. You want to make this black so it blends in with his trousers. Then this whole front section, you're going to make green as well, okay? So again, green, green. And this little section here is the little kind of, whatever you want to call them, screws, whatever's holding all together. They're not screws, but I don't know what the word is. And as you can see, he's now getting his legs. His legs are starting to come into shape as well. Back out we go again, and we add another item. And next up, we're going to go for the legs again. And we're going to go for the uh, medieval section again. In fact, you know what? We don't. We go in the feet section here. I'm in the wrong area. We go here. We go medieval. And we're going to go for the uh, knight. We're going to go for the medieval calf armor, which is, when I can see it, that's the one just there, I believe. No, it's not. It's O2. It's this one just here. Medieval calf armor there, and again, this one is going to be fully green. So you want to make this element here green on the front, and then you want to get rid of these straps on the back. It doesn't really matter so much here to be quite honest, because you can, they're going to be hidden shortly anyway. Do you know what? We'll, we can make these green as well because this is going to all go. He's going to have boots on shortly, and this is all going to be hidden. So we'll leave them green for now because that whole area needs to be green anyway. So a couple more things to add to this. Next up, we're going to go back there into the feet again. We're going to search up here, and we're going to do medieval. Calf, I know this one's going to be Medieval Calf Armor 1, okay? So we're going to do this one here, which is the big old chunky boots. And now you can see it starts to really fill his legs out at the bottom. And you can see now with the green bit there, and I was going to blend in when we finish this section off. So you've got two elements here, which are both going to be green. We don't need to see any little buttons or joins on that. Big old green bits, and now he's got full old chunky legs on the go. Now we're getting there. Now there's not a lot of, there's not a lot on show now of him that isn't, isn't green. I think we're pretty much there, guys. I don't think there's much more to do. I think we are actually there. We've got our 13 elements, and there are indeed 13 elements. So now this guy is pretty much done. So now we have to give him a weapon, right? That's the next That's the next step. So you go on to weapons. So two things to do here for him. So special ability-wise, we're going to give him a Minotaur charge. We can storm forwards and attack the enemies, okay? So Minotaur charge is just here. So give him that as a special ability. For your main weapon here, the best thing that we seem to have for him is a P90. We're going to give him that gun. Now, personally, having seen the pictures of the, of the gun that he has and the colorings of it, again, this is very much personal preference, but this is what I've done with it. So we've got, I've, I've used two different shades of gray on this. I've used like, a, so the top section I've gone for a lighter gray and the bottom section a darker gray. And again, this is entirely personal preference. So go with whatever you want in this one. Personally, I've made a lot of these bottom sections here, this kind of color. 
Um, oh my word, this, this is this is all so, this is so so unnecessarily fussy. But this is how I did it because I preferred it like this. Some sections that are flashing, they're going to go lighter as well. It's so very picky at this point what I'm doing with it. But it's completely your choice, I said, guys. This can be a lighter one as well because of where it sits on the gun. Uh, what else have we got here? <laughs> that one again can go lighter. It's all so, so, so picky. I'm trying to find the element that is that bit there. Where's that element gone? This area, there we go. That's also going to be a light one there. I think we're pretty much there now. I might change one more. I'm going to make these 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 um, screw holes on here the same colour as the bottom bit. I don't, want, I don't want to see the screws in the gun. I don't want to see that. I want you to blend in. That was that one, wasn't it? There we go. It's all it's all very much just personal personal preference on that one. Anyway, there he is. That's pretty much your Master Chief complete. As I said before, don't forget you can change your different options at the top here to have the see-through visor with the colours behind it. The problem with that is you get the balaclava showing on each side, which you can't avoid. This way, you get a full a full mask, which actually I think looks a bit better. So I don't think we can really complain too much about that one. I think this is the best one to go for personally. Backing up from there, I'm going to give him some basic stats so we can test him out. So I'm going to make him 10,000 hit points. I'm going to give him 1.2 times height. I'm going to give him 1.2 times weight. We're going to give him... Uh, sorry, 1.5 times weight even. We're going to give him 1.3 times movement speed. I'm going to give him 2 times attack speed and 2 times damage. Okay, this is all, again, stuff you can play around with, all right? And I think now we go and test this guy out. What do you reckon? Should we go and test him out against some stupid units and see what he can do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think these guys are looking pretty beasty. What do you reckon, guys? We've got three of them versus... A real poor man's King Kong. I mean, I don't even want to show him off too closely. He's terrible. But, yeah. but we'll, we've got to do what we've got to do with him. Anyway, the one thing I missed in that little instruction there, there guys, make these guys hold this gun two-handed as well. It's got to be two-handed gun ready. So make sure they're holding it two-handed. As you can see, the colours of these unit created things don't tend to change correctly until they get close, which is annoying. Let's see anyway what this, these guys can do against a King Kong, shall we? Let's see those get open fire. Oh, let's slow this down a minute and get in close to the action. Get behind him is there. As you can see, the P90 is probably knocking him over too much at the moment. We might have to make him a bit heavier. Oh, he's gone for a minus little charge right into the poor King Kong's crotch. That's three words in the radar. I want to hear in it. King Kong's crotch. It's a mouthful. Probably a very bad choice of words for King Kong crotch as well. We don't need. We don't need to be known as a mouthful. That is not what I meant, by the way. That was a, a bad choice of words. But yeah. Please don't quote me on that one. I don't know. Let's hope I'm wrong. Anyway, that's disgusting. Right. So anyway, these guys at the moment can't really control the guns too well. I'm going to go back. I'm going to add a bit more weight to these guys. And we're going to come back and test them a second time. Right, we're back here to make this guy a bit heavier. I'm going to remove the minus or charge as well, guys. I think that takes away from the fact he's got a fire his gun much. We're going to remove that one entirely. We're going to whack his unit size up to three. We're going to double his weight. See if that can help him somehow control this P90. I don't know why I couldn't in the first place. Let's go back and give this guy a second test run. Right, take two. We've got the three Master Chiefs here again. Ready to do battle with the dodgy King Kong, who for some reason is pointing to the right. I don't know what's over there. He's way out of this hellhole of situation he's doing, or something like that. I don't know. He's trying to make, make people convince his more. What are you got your armor for, dude? I don't know. Right, we've got rid of the, um, the minus for charge now, so hopefully these guys will just fire at him. Watch when they fire, though. They've got, their bullets look awesome on this game. If you've not seen this close up, they look quality. Fire, guys. We're just waiting for the... <laughs> they don't look great when he fires like that. Weirdly, they don't always fire over. You can see the bullets going up in the air there. Not great for them. But look at all these little shells. How cool are the shells, man, firing around everywhere? I like that. It's a good touch. Stand up, guys. Come on. Up you get. Ah, he's got his foot in now. He's got his foot in, in place now. But look at this. This looks so cool, man. Look at this. Look at the little, the little cartridge coming out. It looks so cool, man. So this is the dude in action. I mean, at the moment, they're not particularly accurate aiming. Trust me, in testing this, the aiming went a bit better than this. He's getting a few more on target now, but look at all the little little cartridges coming out. I think it looks great. This guy appears to have more balance than the rest of them. I don't know why. But look at this. Look in quality. I think it looks really good. This guy's aim is all over the show. I think he's going clay pigeon shooting or something. I don't know what he's doing. But this one over here seems to have got himself under control. Anyway, that's basically the Master Chief for you there, right, guys? That's the Master Chief. How to make him. Go and make him yourselves and see what you think. And if you can think... Guys, leave me comments. Let me know in the comments what you would change stat-wise as well. What would be your perfect stats to make this guy work fully efficiently? I'm intrigued to know what you're going to save to me. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the video, please do smash like and subscribe as well on it for me. Support the channel. Hit the notification bell for my future videos. And until next time, thanks ever so much for watching. Hope to see you back on my channel very soon. Cheers all. Bye.